All right, if you're a photo editor using Photoshop or Affinity Photo, you're in the right place. Also, if you're a graphic designer using Figma, Sketch, or the Adobe Design Suite, you're also in the right place. Now, jumping right into things, I'm really happy to see the SD card reader on the Pavilion Gaming laptop, as this makes transferring photos to the laptop a breeze with a dongle-free workflow. The port selection on the HP Omen is generous, so I'm really happy to see they've and not only kept the SD card slot, but also have USB-C, USB type A, a network port, HDMI. So there's a lot of flexibility on the HP Pavilion Gaming laptop. Now it also has excellent ventilation on the keyboard deck, behind the keyboard deck, and on the bottom cover. It keeps the laptop cool and the fans also run fairly quiet. The laptop did not get over 73 degrees Celsius while in Photoshop and stabilized easily at around 67 degrees Celsius while conducting work in Photoshop. Now at idle, when the computer first kicks on, you'll get a little bit of fan noise and then it settles down to have no fan noise at idle. And then when web browsing, you're going to have about 30 to 35 decibels of fan noise. Now on the high end, I saw about 48 to 51 decibels of fan noise on some of the more intensive tasks in Photoshop, but overall the laptop remains in the 40 decibel range. All right, now that we have the heat, fan noise, and ports under our belt, let's check out the performance benchmarks. The HP Pavilion I'm reviewing comes with the Ryzen 5 5600H with 6 cores and 12 threads, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 with 4 gigs of VRAM, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gig SSD. In my experience, Photoshop is the best way to test a laptop's abilities inside of design-focused tools such as the full Adobe Design Suite, including Illustrator and InDesign, as well as other tools like Affinity Design and Photo, Sketch, and Figma. And I must say, the HP Pavilion is really dressed to impress. In the Photoshop benchmarks, it's sitting near the top end of my chart, scoring a 738 in the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark a beast of a laptop in Photoshop, and especially for the price point of this laptop. Now real quick, if this video is bringing you some value, please hit that like button. I much appreciate it. Concerning the multitasking, this laptop is able to run Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator simultaneously. I'm using roughly 3% of the CPU, 49% of the RAM, and only 10% of the graphics when all three programs are opened. Now, as I start to conduct some work inside of InDesign and Photoshop, you can see that it will rise up to around 14%, but as soon as I step out of the program or just kind of just stop doing anything, it settles right back down. So regarding multitasking, this laptop will have no problems, especially with the 16 gigs of RAM that this model I'm reviewing is equipped with. Now, one of the areas of concern is the color gamut range of this laptop. According to my test, the HP Pavilion with its 15.6 inch Full HD display can reach 288 nits at full brightness and has a color gamut range of 64% sRGB, 48% Adobe RGB, and 48% DCI-P3 at an average Delta E of 3.14. Now, as you can see, the color gamut range is really low, but the neat thing about this laptop is that it's fairly color accurate within that low range. Having an average Delta E rating of less than two is excellent so that this laptop comes in just at above three is really solid. Now we just need to see HP work on the gamut range a little bit and we really have a winner here. So one way to get around this, um, being that it does have a low color gamut range, is to pick up a color accurate monitor to be back at your office, your house, or your dorm room to do your color correcting. I'll link a few options in the description below for you, and maybe you can check out that and, and pick that up if you want this laptop with a color accurate screen to go along with it. Like I said, if you want to check out the full review, you can click or tap the screen over here. And if you're curious about the live pricing and availability of the Pavilion Gaming, links are in the description below. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, those are affiliate links. Until next time, keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. My name is Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next video.